Hello and welcome. My name is Deb and we are here uh, looking forward to 2021. And in 21, uh, we've got a whole new concept going on. Uh, we are going to be doing a lot of toning today. Uh, and that's going to be our themes as we go forward. Short workout, toning, uh, and there's plenty to do for your cardio in the other workouts. But here we're going to concentrate on that toning. Uh, toning all those muscles. We're going to use light weights uh, and more reps. And we're also going to work a little bit on balance. So come join me. Uh, you need a mat. Uh, I don't, gosh, you can't see that. And some, some light weights. I've got some two and a halfs that I'm going to work with. Also, you could use some fives, whatever works for you. So let's get started. And we're just going to get started with some uh, basic squats. So squat, we're going to stick our, our booty out, hip hinge down and down. Doesn't need to be a deep one for these first couple of ones. All right, just getting things ready to go. I am so excited for 2021. I am sure you are too. Looking forward to some great things here at the gym. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna add a little volume to that music as we go. All right. Let's do some jacks. Ten. We're gonna do ten. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, great job. Standing leg rotation. Again, we're still just warming up. Up and over and down. Up, over, and down. Put your arms out in front. That's going to help a little bit with the balance. Up, over, and down. Loosening up. Our hips, working on our balance. Nice tight core. You've got this as we go through. Very good, okay. Then down and twist to side to side. This is a great one to do if you had a medicine ball or a light weight or a water bottle, whatever you've got. You can keep that out front. Excellent. So we loosen up the hips. We're loosening up the torso. Let's just do some arm circles now. Hands going back. Five. We're going to do five. Four, three, two, one. Forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Got some great shoulder work happening today. Flamingo stand. Easy peasy on this one. Uh, are straightforward. It's not necessarily easy peasy. So we're, we're going to work on our balance. So all we're going to do here, hands out front, raise and lower that leg. Great job. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Just challenging the balance a little bit. Now on the other side, five, Four, three, two, one. Like me, you might find one side's better than the other. All right, let's add a, a little bit of a challenge here. Let's try that again three times on each leg, but let's close our eyes. So if you're not comfortable with this, you don't need to do it. So one, five, three, whoops, I, I couldn't count at the same time. And one. All right, other side, three, Two, one. Closing your eyes adds a little bit of a balance challenge. All right, so let's get started. Our first exercise, reverse lunge with a leg lift. So I'm gonna grab those weights in just a second, but I'm first I'm gonna show you. This is good with or without weights, whichever you wanna do. So we're here, reverse lunge, nice deep lunge, and you're gonna raise that leg up. And come back in and raise that leg up. We're going to do that 12 times on each side and then we're going to repeat and do it again. So I'm going to just hold my weights on the side. You can do that or not. We're working our glutes, our quads, and our hamstrings. So together with me, please. All right, here we go. I am starting with my 
right leg. You start with whatever jump, knowing that we're going to do them on both sides. And nice reverse lunge, nice and deep. And raise that leg up. Bring it back in. Nice and deep. Raise that leg in. You feel that glute muscle. That's This is three. Contracting. And four. You got it. All right. Five. Nice deep lunge. Six. Seven. Eight. You've got this nine. You're like keep doing a little donkey kick almost. Nine. Behind you. And ten. Two more. Excellent. And one more. Great job. Great job. Let's just go right to it, to the other side. Again, like everything, you might feel a little bit different. I'm feeling that real good workout in my, in my glutes. So, back here, you can, if you are uncomfortable with the weights, go ahead and drop them. I'm gonna drop them on this side. You keep going. Three. Four. Five. You've got it. Six. Push up through that heel on the front leg. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And last one. Great job. We're going to repeat that. This time, ten on each side. I am not gonna use the weight on this side, but I am gonna use it on that one because I didn't on the last time. You decide what's gonna work for you on your weight. All right, let's get going. And we're down, nice deep. See if we can go a little deeper on that lunge. We're down here, one, two, three, four. Really working that lower. Lower half today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Let's get the other side. I'm picking up my weights because I didn't use them on the first round. They're almost helpful to help your balance. Remember to keep that core nice and tight. And down. One. Two, whoop, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got it. Just a couple more. Nine, ten, two more. Come on. We've got it. We can do it. Excellent. Last one. Excellent. Wow, I felt that engage those glutes, those hamstrings, and the quads. Great job. So right here, uh, I'm going to switch out to five uh, weights, five pounds, because we're going to do some triceps. Biceps, excuse me. So we are gonna do a squat. I'm gonna show you first. So we're gonna do a squat. Squat, hammer curl on your way up, and then overhead press. Squat, hammer curl, and twist. You can see I am, I am hammer curling, which is right here, all the way up, twisting those hands so they're out in front, and then raising it up. This way, we're getting our glutes. We're getting our lower half like we have. And now we're engaging our biceps and our shoulders. So again, we're gonna do 12 and then 10. So let's get started. And squat, up, and twist. That's one. Squat, up, twist. On that squat, be sure pushing up through the heels. That's three. When you come up, four. Can you get a little lower on that squat? That's five. Excellent. 
I knew you could. All right, seven. Woo! Eight. And nine. And ten. And eleven. Woo, last one. And here's twelve. Great job. All right. On your mark, get set. Let's do it again. This time we're doing 10. All right, so we're not doing a lot, so let's get a little deeper. All right, so squat. Remember, squat, hip hinge up, all the way down, pushing up through those heels, just like you're sitting in a chair. So down, hammer, and up. Down, hammer, and up. Let's bring this down. Hammer and stay down on that hammer. This is three. There we go. This is four. You've got it. Hammer and five. Doesn't that feel great to get our bodies moving? After what? After all 2020. Let's put it in the rear view mirror. All right. All right, sounds like a, I'm guessing but let's say it's seven and eight and nine and 10. Great job. All right, wide row. You've got this. So what we're gonna, we're gonna do an increase our, the number we're doing. On this wide row, we're gonna repeat it twice, but we're gonna do 15, and then 12. And we're gonna, so 15 first time, 12 the second time. So on the wide row, you're here, you're down here, arms are right in front of you, and you're bringing them up, up and around. The key to this wide row is when you up here, you're squeezing those shoulders. We're really gonna engage those shoulders to get them, get them working. Uh, and so we're also working our biceps, shoulders, and the upper area. All right, so let's bend over. Let's do, we're doing 15. Okay, so ready? And one. Squeeze those shoulders. Two. Three. You got it. Four. Five. Six. Bring those right together. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Man, I can feel that first round in my shoulders. I hope you can too. All right. Shake them out a little bit. Let's do a quick raise and down. Up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. We're on our computers and the like so much and kind of hunched over. This is really gonna engage us and keep our, keep our posture. Okay, so let's do it again. We're doing 12 this time. Down, up, and together. Up, and together. That's two. Three, four, five, you got it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great job on that. You got it. All right. So this time, we're gonna, oh, let's keep both weights. But I'm gonna go to my lighter weights. This is a quick workout. So this is a workout you can do at any time. And I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. And let's go. So what we're gonna do, we're doing a curtsy squat. We're coming back here and we're bringing that arm back like here. So out and back, out and back. We've got our second weight in our hand. 
All right. So here we go. Curtsy squat. Knee is behind the front knee. Arm comes up and goes straight. The arm that's coming up is the same leg that's going back. Up and out. Um, actually, let's stay on one side. Stay on one side for 15. Then we'll go on that same side for 12. Kind of a burnout. All right, but I know you got it. All righty, let's go. And up and up. Keep that core tight. Two, because that's gonna help your balance. Three, if the weights aren't there for you, go ahead and drop them. Just extend that arm out. Five. Six. Seven. Really engage that core right when you're here. Eight. Because that's helping your balance, protecting your back. Pushing up through that heel. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great job, that's 15 on that side. We're gonna repeat that. My goal is gonna be to go a little bit deeper on that, on that curtsy squat. So, let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna start at 12, we'll count down. All right, remember, drop the weights if that's not working for you. All right, so here we go. And up, that's 12. Go a little deeper, that's 11. That's 10. We're going a little bit deeper each time. Nine. Tightening my core. Help that balance. Eight. And seven. And six. You've got it. And five. I did a little wobble there. Three. Two. And one. Great job, friends. Great job. Wow. I know I can feel that. My arm, my triceps, my quads, my hammies. All right. So now, give yourself a practice. I'm going to give myself a practice on this other side. 15 and then 12. Here's just a practice. And we're here. Whoop. I, I looked at myself. And we're here. This side's gonna be harder for me up for balance. You might find something similar on one side or the other. All right, so let's get started. And up. That's 15. 14. 13. 12. I'm really tightening my core to help with that stabilization. You've got it. You've got it. Woo! All right, let's do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Push up through that heel when you come up. 3, 2, Three, two, one more. All right. It's a good thing I'm not a math teacher because I am having trouble counting and talking at the same time. All right, I can feel my heart rate's getting up a little bit with that move. That's all okay. All right, 12. You got it. All right. Same leg, we're doing 12. And one. Two, I'm going to try a little bit deeper on that squat. Pushing out through that heel. Nine. When I come up, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, two more. Two. And one. Wow, great job. Felt 
that in my shoulders, felt that in my quads, my hammies, felt it all over. Love it, love it. All right, another kind of multi-exercise coming up at us. We're gonna do sumo squats and with a, bike, with a straight bicep curl. Before we did a hammer, which is this way, just like a, a, um, a flashlight, up and down. That's what we did before, that's a hammer. Now we're switching here. We're here and here. Plus, we're adding a sumo squat. So our, our feet are wider than our shoulders. They are pointed out to the sides of the room. We are coming down and up. Down and up. There's three, four, five, Six. Need a little bit deeper in that. Seven. Squat. Seven. Eight. Nine. When you're down, push out those knees just a hair. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. You got it, 15. Woo! Great. Add a little bit here. What we're gonna do on the next round for 12 is we're gonna do that bicep curl while holding that sumo squat. So we're gonna be here. Just showing you right now. We're down and we are right here. And we're gonna go halfway. So we're just gonna come here and go halfway on that curl. All right, we're gonna do 12 in our squat. If it doesn't work for you to be in that squat, come up here and just right here. You can do that too, whatever's working for you today. All right, so we're down here in that sumo squat. I'm pushing those legs out to engage those inner thighs. I'm up at 90 degrees and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great job. Fantastic. We did that. Great. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our ab blast. And what we're going to do for our ab blast. And we're going to do 30 seconds. We're going to do four different exercises. So we're going to do two minutes of abs. Then we're going to flip over and do some push-ups. On your push-ups, you can be on your knees or your toes. And we're going to do 30 seconds of push-ups. Or on the wall. Picture I have a wall here. I am about arms distance apart. And I'm just coming in and going out. Coming in and going out. My whole body is leaning into that push-up. The wall's not moving, although my hands look like that. All right, let's get it going. Ab blast coming up. We are gonna start bicycle crunches. And I'm gonna take my timer here. And timer. And bicycle crunches. I can feel that. 
Does that work? All right. Great job. Okay. Scissors. So scissors back and forth. Legs up. Legs up to a point where you don't lose that engagement of the back in. And your legs are going back and forth. Back and forth. I can feel my core engaging. If your back is off, raise your legs up. If it's lower it down as far as it will go. All right, roll over. Let's get our plank in. And the start. Fantastic. It's a straight plank. You can be on your elbows or on your hands. Your shoulders are right over your elbow. Great job. Halfway there, you can do it. You can do anything for 15 seconds, right? Woo! All right, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Before we do our push up, let's come back here. And stretch that out. My back always needs a little stretch. All right, push-ups, 30 second push-ups, on your toes, on your knees, or against the wall. Whichever is working right for you today. Here we go. And three, two, and one. My legs are about shoulder distance apart. You can put them closer together. That's a little bit harder. I like it here. It's not all or nothing. So, if you want to do some on your toes and drop to your knees, that is perfectly A-OK. -okay. All right, that's it for that. We're going to do one more, whoop, there I am. We're going to do one more set. You can do it. All right, so let's go. Push-ups, knees, toes. Try to do one on your toes. Fantastic. And here we go. 30 seconds. That's all there is. Then we're going to stretch out. You've got it. Remember, drop to your toes. Your knees, excuse me. You've got it. Work your halfway there. Come on. Whoa, I can feel it. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Back in child's pose. Congratulations. You've done a great job today. Just getting out there. I've popped up. Come up slowly if you haven't already. Just gonna do some stretching. And over. And over here. Over here. All right. Quad stretch. Grab something if you need to hang on to. While I'm here, I want to thank the wonderful folks at USA Today. And you can see it down there. Flat waves here on Aquidneck Island. Best tacos in town. I think we'll have some tonight, as a matter of fact. They're really fun. They've got a uh, food truck comes out on the beach. Not quite beach weather yet. Okay, switch legs if you haven't already on the quads. And one leg extending out. And just come down to it. Should feel that stretch right in this hammy area. Ah, come back up. And out. Bend down. Raise up that toe. Scooch that booty back. Get a nice stretch there. Great job. Thank you for joining me today. We are quick, we are toning, and you're doing a great job. Just getting up there, you've already accomplished. If you've made it this far, you've already accomplished a lot today. <laughs> Goodbye 2020, welcome 2021. Woo! Thank you very much.